Welcome to Arizona Rock Garden Designs with me, Julie E. I'm just out here feeding my birds and thought I would, whoa, what could this be? Thank you. Let's go inside and take a look. Dear Julie, you have been summoned to a portion, potions exam. Poor collaboration with Jeremy and Lee of Massey Art Studios. They have generously sent along a couple of items that a good witch or wizard needs. Your potion exam must include the colors of the house that you've been sorted into. Just wave your wand. Wave my wand. Wave my wand? Okay. Is that what this is? Oh no, there's a knot in it. Uh-oh. Ah! 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 Check it out. Thanks guys. Okay, let's wave our wand. Ravenclaw. All right, let's see. With Ravenclaw, I've got colors of blues, grays, blacks, and bronze. All right, so according to that, I need to start mixing. So we'll be right back. Poof. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Welcome back. And there's my cat Taz watching every move I make because he would not shut up until I let him sit in my office chair. Well, one of my office chairs. So, <laughs> oh man. I love him. I love him. Okay. So here's the colors that we're going to be working with uh, for our Harry Potter pour, our potions exam. And I'm really excited about this. I've got, as part of my potion, Artist Loft Flow Black. I am so worried I'm going to get my sleeves in the paint. And then I also have Artist Loft Flow White. These are all mixed with school glue and water pouring medium. Elmer School Bloom, and it's 70% glue, 30% water. Shake into the point of insanity. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have, we have golden fluid acrylic iridescent bronze fine. Very pretty. And these are mixed two parts pouring medium to one part paint and what you want it to do is you want it to roll off your stick and look just like troll bogies. See that wiggle? It's like, yeah. That means it's got good elasticity to it. So you watch it drip and then it'll snap back up right up to the paint stick. There it is. Look at that dangle. So yeah. I call that the troll bogey. And it leaves a bit of a trace, there's a bit of a mound. It stays for a couple seconds and then dies away. You can stand your stick up in it. However you judge your consistency. Okay, then 
this one. This one is gorgeous. I love it. It looks almost like um, Artist Loft Cobalt Metallic Cobalt Blue, but it's not. It is a combination of cat hair. Sorry. A uh, combination of Liquitex Professionals Heavy Body Acrylics, Turquoise Deep, and Golden Fluid Acrylic Turquoise Phalo. Combined those and then I added a squirt of the DecoArt Dazzling Metallics Peacock Pearl. It's gorgeous. Oh, is that a pretty shade? So that's a little potion all of its own. Oh, is that beautiful? Play and experiment with your colors. It's lots of fun. This one is just plain old Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Pearl. This one is Arteza Acrylic Colors Premium, and this is Prussian Blue. I have a friend, Doris, and this is her all-time favorite color. And being that I'm in Ravenclaw and using blues, I figured, well, now is the time to break it out and use it. So, okay. Then, last but not least, we have Ultramarine Blue, and that is a combination of Amsterdam and Golden Fluid Acrylic. Both the same color, Ultramarine Blue. And those are the colors we are going to use. Now, the pour that we're going to do... Oh, he's gone. Yay. Um, <laughs> the pour that we're going to do... Now, if you know your Harry Potter, you know one of the first places that Harry and Hagrid got went was to the Leaky Cauldron. Right? So, I got these little cauldrons. And Lee and Jeremy do this, and Fiona does too. It's called the Leaky Cup Pour. And I thought, how fun would it be, since we're doing a Harry pour, we do a leaky cauldron pour. So yeah, I got out, I did some Tim the Toolman tailoring on it, drilled some Dremel holes in it, and we're going to put it on a round canvas that I have already taped off on the back. And yeah, this is my first time using a round canvas. Because Ravenclaws think out of the box. We're not like everyone else. So, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm sorry, guys, for the noise going on. Uh, apparently, there has been a leak in the second floor girls' lavatory. And they're trying to fix it. <laughs> I'm uh, probably going to regret this, but I'm going to actually put a little bit of paint down to kind of hold my cauldron in place. Hopefully it'll kind of suction its cup to it, suction cup itself to it. So we'll try. See how that goes. So starting in this top corner here, let's do this. Leaving squigglies. I 
actually, this is really pretty. Okay. All right, guys. Got it all together. My potions exam. We got my potion on the canvas. Now it is, what time is it? I don't know, you tell me. It's tilting time. Do it. And there's the noise again. Isn't it lovely? Okay, tell you what. I'm going to put on some music and speed things up. The hardest part about all this is knowing when to stop adding to your cauldron. But I'm going to say one thing right now. <laughs> I love pouring through the cauldron better than I do pouring through the paper cup. Just saying. I like this better. I don't know if my setup for the actual paper cup part was kind of off and that's why it kind of tried to pop up and float away but oh man this is looking so pretty yeah, I'm so excited about this okay now I gotta take this off without dripping around hold on let me get a little piece of cardboard there you go this will work I don't think I need it anymore Come on. Oh, oh, 
Oh boy, it did suction cup to it. Okay. Oh, how pretty is this? All right. I'm liking this just the way it is. I think I might give it a couple more spins. And then we are gonna leave it alone. Stop touching it, she says every time, and then she'll do something else to it. Just you wait and see, watch. She can't not stop touching. Touchy, touchy, touchy. That's me. <laughs> I'm a fiddler. Okay, put my little paint borders up. Pardon the interference. Hopefully you can all still see. There we go. All right, make it nice and flat. Okay. All right, here we go. Everybody ready? Woohoo! I'm getting good coverage on the outsides too. Quartz floating right over. Awesome. Awesome. And I am leaving it. Leaving it right there. Voila. <laughs> okay. I am so happy with this. I cannot tell you. I was so nervous. I really was. I don't know why, but I was. I think it's just because I wanted it to come out so well. But then we all want that for every painting, not just this one. It's my potions exam. I have to do well in my potions exam, right? Oh. Oh. Okay. I, yeah. Mmm. Hard not to be excited when something you paint comes out this beautiful. I think it's beautiful anyway. I hope you do too. Um, I will see you shortly. Babe, did you charge over $100 on our personal card today? What? Yeah. Let me see. Obliviate! What was I doing? <laughs> well, that's pretty. Thank you! Yeah, that looks really good. Thanks! Did you just get home? Yeah. Mm. What am I gonna do? Don't you have a clan battle for your golf thing? Yeah, I guess I do. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Good luck! <laughs> I solemnly swear I'm up to no good! Yeah, what Jeremy doesn't know won't hurt him, right? <laughs> um, we're back with somewhat dry results. Uh, it's still kind of squishy in the center, but it's drying nice. I have bumps. I couldn't get all the little air bubbles out, unfortunately. But overall, oh my gosh, the colors and composition are amazing. I think it's beautiful. And the sides, they came out really well too. I would show you. Let's see. Here we go. The sides came out really, really nice. Don't want to tip it too much. Don't want it to move and crack and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty. I absolutely love it. And I hope you do too. Now stay tuned for some special information that we have for you coming right up in a snap. Okay, I am back and I look like Axel Rose's twin sister from the 1990s. <laughs> so, I have some important information for you. We're having a contest and I'm giving away this painting. It is a 12 by 12 edge painting. It is a wrapped canvas that I need to take the tape off of yet. 
but it will be signed and stamped and dated. And you can look for the creation video for this in my channel. It is the most recent one right before this pour. So yeah, go check that out. I'd appreciate it. Um, let's see. How to win it. How to win it. Well, you have to go and you have to watch Massey Studio Arts and see their Harry Potter collaboration video and see what spells they cast. Tell me what spells they cast and also which spell I cast during my video. Guess them correctly and you will be entered to win. I can't wait. This is exciting. This is so much fun. And yeah, can't wait to see who wins. And while I'm here, I want to say a great big thank you to Lee and Jeremy at Massey Art Studio for asking me to do this collaboration to help out their channel, get some more views and more growth because Lord knows they need it, you know, struggling YouTube artists. Whenever we can help, we got to help out, right? <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. They're awesome. They're talented. And yeah, I'm so humbled and thankful. And it's been wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you guys. And to all you out there, I hope you really enjoyed this too because I had so much fun. Till next time, guys. Loves and hugs you all. Bye.